Hi folks, Tim Newman with Softlight Studios and it's time for another Adobe Lightroom Classic CC quick tip. In this quick tip, we are going to take a look at a little hidden gem called solo mode. If you haven't used solo mode before and you've been frustrated by the number of panels that remain open then that you have to scroll through in various different modules, take a look at this. When you are working in the Lightroom application, you are essentially without choice working in various modules within that application. It's the way the application is structured. So as I change here from the library module to the develop module and from the develop module to the book module, you see that all of these modules that are available are listed right up here at the top of the interface. And as I change through these modules, you should also note that the contents on both the left panel area and the right panel area within the interface change from module to module. So straightforward and simple enough. So let's go from the library module that we're in here right now to the develop module and of course our selected picture from the grid view mode will become our loop view picture that has focus in the develop module. And you will notice that we have some panels over here on the left hand side of the develop module including the popular navigator panel which we use quite frequently and some presets etc and then over here on the right hand side of the interface we have all of the what i would call control panels in the develop module the basic control panel and then the control panel for tone curves and the control panel for hue saturation and luminance this is probably getting a little bit redundant but what i want you to be noticing as i'm opening these up these panels continue to layer right next to one another in the list over here. And in fact, we can see that our scroll bar is getting progressively smaller as we open up all of these panels. And now that all of them are open, it takes quite a little bit of time to scroll all the way from the bottom panel back up to the top or vice versa, because every single one of these panels is now open. Now, if I come over here to any one of these panels and I right click on the panel name, you will notice that I get a pop-up menu that shows up here. And one of the choices in this pop-up menu is solo mode. And if I turn on solo mode, you'll instantly notice that one panel, the panel that we right clicked on, stays open and all the other panels have collapsed back down. And in fact, if I come here and say, all right, I'm going to open the detail panel, you'll notice that the detail panel opens up and the basic control panel that was open a second ago is no longer open. And every time I open up a different panel here, the panel that's open trades off and the other panel that was open closes. So now that long list of panels that I did have is now a very short list and it's very easy to jump from panel to panel to panel without having a huge area that I have to scroll through. So that in and of itself is pretty cool. But here's what's even cooler. This setting, this solo mode that we just learned about is specific to the right versus the left side in every single module. So if I set, as I did here, this side to solo mode, and you can see that by my right clicking and confirming that, and I left this side over here, and I'll come over here and right click on presets, with solo mode turned off, then I get solo mode on the right, but not solo mode on the left, and that is specific to just the develop module. If I came over here to the book module, for example, I could come over here to the left-hand side and see that there is no solo mode over here because there's only one panel in the book module on the left-hand side. If I came over here and right-clicked, I could see, ah, uh, yes, there is solo mode on the right-hand side in the book module. Now, that means that you have 14 individual places where you can potentially set solo mode on the left and right for every single module that Lightroom has. This is really, really cool because it allows you to basically customize your experience with the panels in every single one of the modules in the application. Now, my general observation here is I use solo mode on the right hand panels in just about every module in Lightroom. And I do not use solo mode on 
any of the left-hand panels in any of the modules in Lightroom. Now there is one notable exception to this scheme for me, and that is in the library module. I never use solo mode on either the left or right panels in the library module because I find that I like to be able to see keywording that's been applied, my keyword lists that are potentially here, as well as any metadata that might be associated with the picture. And I really don't want to be opening and closing those panels over here on a regular basis because that's stuff that I tend to look at quickly when I'm filtering out pictures in grid view mode. So there you have it, solo mode in Lightroom. I think you'll agree it's a pretty cool feature. Got a few thoughts here to wrap up and then we're out of here. Well, there you have it folks, solo mode in various modules and panels in Lightroom. I think you'll agree that solo mode keeps you from having to scroll through an endless selection of panels in some of the modules that you're using in Lightroom. Hopefully this tip was helpful for you. Subscribe if you want to keep seeing these videos coming at you. And remember, as we always say, learning equals skills, practice equals mastery. We'll see you out there.